the mandolin, I love its sound. It's very easy to take care of, very easy to play. It's two different world, basically. There's this, like, Breda instruments. I could play out more because there is a less chance of me making a mistake. I play viola and I do have a mandola at home that my husband gave me for a birthday. It, it changes how a string player listens to intonation uh, because it has frets. It's easier and you put your finger down and you don't have to be so exact that you can actually sound you and hear yourself in tune. It's just a really good tool for them picking up your regular instrument and hearing it differently and it's had a lot of benefits for us. You don't have to worry about using a bow. You just need to worry about using your fingers properly on the frets. It was definitely a, a, a different experience. With the violin, you do hold it and near your shoulder, and then the mandolin, it's you're pretty much carrying it. And I had never carried an instrument, or I didn't even know how to pluck. It's got frets, so you don't have to worry about the tuning and intonation of the instruments. And basically, you're just counting the spacings for the notes that you have to go instead of having to adjust every once in a while to find the right notes. It really does level the playing field. So those kids who had private lessons are learning something new, and those kids who didn't have private lessons are also learning something new. I feel like I've found a spark that can really help music education in a big sense, not just here at Marshall. And I'm telling, I'm telling everybody, I'm trying to spread the word. I would like to continue playing mandolin because it's easy and I can play out more. If it's a real mandolin, mandolin yes. I would, yeah, definitely. If you have an instrument, what you want to do is perfect it. So that's what I want to do as well. But we will be having uh, an additional community orchestra class starting in August this fall semester. And it's actually open to anybody age 15 to 150 in the community. We're calling it the Silver Lake Community Orchestra. And it's going to be Monday afternoons. Um, and it's open to everybody. We're going to have some, some of our uh, Marshall students, some LACC students, and community members. So join us.